हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर 17 टिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियोस एक्सरसाइज 17 इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 गिवन ए इज एन एक्यूट एंगल एंड 13 साइन ए इज इक्वल टू 5 इवैल्यूएट 5 साइन ए माइनस 2 cos ए अपॉन 10 ए सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मेक अ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल एंड वी हैव 13 साइन ए इक्वल टू 5 13 साइन ए is equal to 5 or we can write sin a is equal to 5 upon 13 and sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse for angle a perpendicular is 5 and hypotenuse is 13 so with the help of pythagoras theorem we will find out the base by pythagoras theorem a b square plus BC square will be equal to AC square. AB we have to calculate. BC is given 5 and AC is 13. 5 square is 25. 13 square is 169. Shift another side. 169 minus 25 we will get 144 and 144 is square of 12 so it means AB is equal to 12 units so this side we are getting 12 now we have to calculate 5 sin A minus 2 cos A upon 10 A 5 sin A sin A means perpendicular by hypotenuse 5 upon 13 minus 2 cos a base upon hypotenuse 12 upon 13 divide by 10 a perpendicular by base 5 upon 12 so here we are getting 25 upon 13 minus 24 by 13 upon 5 by 12 after simplification in numerator we will get 1 by 13 and denominator 5 by 12 reciprocal it and finally we will get 12 upon 13 into 5 means 12 upon 65 next question number 17 given a is an acute angle and cosec a is equal to root 2 find the value of 2 sin square a plus 3 cot square a divided by 10 square a minus cos square a so we have given here cosec a is equal to root 2 cosec means hypotenuse by perpendicular so root 2 we can write root 2 by 1 it means hypotenuse is root 2 and perpendicular is 1 so make a right angle triangle this angle a for this angle a we are calculating so for this hypotenuse is this root 2 perpendicular is 1 so by pythagoras theorem we will find out first base ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square ab square plus 1 square is equal to root 2 square ab square plus 1 is equal to 2 so ab square we are getting 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so ab value is equal to 1 now we will calculate 2 sin square a plus 3 cot square a upon 10 square a minus cos square a 2 sin a means perpendicular by hypotenuse 1 upon root 2 whole square cot means base upon perpendicular 1 upon 1 then 10 means perpendicular by base and cos means base upon perpendicular hypotenuse root 2 square will become 1 by 2 and here 1 square will be 1 so only 3 will come 2 we can cancel out 1 minus 1 upon 2 1 plus 3 will become 4 and 1 minus half will become half so this 2 will go up and finally we will get 8 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन द डायग्नल्स ए सी एंड बी डी ऑफ अ रॉम्बस ए बी सी डी मीट एट ओ इफ ए सी इज इक्वल टू एट एंड बी डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर फाइंड साइन एंगल ओ सी डी सो फर्स्ट वी विल ड्रॉ अ फिगर ए बी सी डी इज अ रॉम्बस बोथ द डायग्नल्स आर इन बाइसेक्टिंग ईच अदर एंड एज वी नो डायग्नल्स ऑफ रॉम्बस बाइसेक्ट ईच अदर एट नाइन्टी डिग्री सो दीज एंगल्स विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री ए सी इज एट मीन्स फोर दिस साइड एंड फोर दिस साइड इट विल बाइसेक्ट बी डी इज सिक्स मीन्स थ्री दिस साइड एंड थ्री दिस साइड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड आउट दिस सी डी बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एंगल ओ सी डी ओ सी डी अबाउट दिस एंगल सो दिस वी विल कैलकुलेट सो इन ट्राइंगल ओ सी डी बाय पायथागोर थ्योरम सी डी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ डी स्क्वायर प्लस ओ सी स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव सो सी डी इज कमिंग फाइव सेंटीमीटर मीन्स ईच साइड ऑफ दिस रॉम्बस इज कमिंग फाइव सेंटीमीटर नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट साइन एंगल ओ सी टी फॉर दिस एंगल साइन मीन्स पपेंडिकुलर बाय हाईपोटनेस so for this angle c perpendicular is 3 and hypotenuse is 5 3 upon 5 next question number 19 if tan theta is equal to 5 by 12 find the value of cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus sin theta this question you can do from the two way uh, first you can make triangle with the help of tan theta 5 by 12 and you can find out the third side and you can directly substitute the value of cos theta and sin theta or you can change this sin theta cos theta into tan theta and you can substitute tan theta value so if i divide this with cos theta up and down so cos theta upon cos theta sin theta upon cos theta and same thing i am doing in denominator then this will become 1 and sin theta upon cos theta is equal to tan theta same thing will happen in denominator 1 minus tan theta we will get now you can substitute value tan theta is 5 by 12 1 minus 5 by 12 take lcm in numerator and denominator both twelve and twelve will cancel out 17 by 7 you can divide and change into the mixed fraction question number 20 given 5 cos a minus 12 sin a equal to 0 find the value of sin a plus cos a upon 2 cos a minus sin a so first we will start with the given we have 5 cos a minus 12 sin a so we can write it like this 5 cos a equal to 12 sin a or we can write 5 upon 12 is equal to sin upon cos this cos i am shifting another side and 12 this side so i am getting sin by cos means 10 10a is equal to 5 by 12 now again two ways are there you can follow any one i am changing this one only into 10 and then substituting the 10 value we have to find out the value of sin a plus cos a upon 2 cos a minus sin a so if i divide it with cos sin a upon cos a plus cos a upon cos a divide by 2 cos a upon cos a minus sin a upon cos a so it will become 10 10a Plus one and two minus ten a. Substitute value now. Ten a is five upon twelve minus plus one divided by two minus five upon twelve. Take LCM. Five plus twelve upon twelve and twenty four minus five upon twelve. Seventeen upon twelve 
and 19 upon 12. So 12 to 12 we can cancel 17 upon 19 is answer. Next question number 21. If 10 theta is equal to P by Q, find the value of P sin theta minus Q cos theta divided by P sin theta plus Q cos theta. So here also we will change sin theta into 10 theta. So we will divide it with cos theta. P sin theta upon cos theta minus Q cos theta upon cos theta. In denominator also we will do the same thing P sin theta upon cos theta plus Q cos theta upon cos theta. So it will become P sin upon cos is 10, 10 theta minus Q cos to cos we can cancel. And in denominator P tan theta plus Q. Now we can substitute the tan theta value. 10 theta value is P upon Q minus Q P into P upon Q plus Q. Take LCM. P into P will become P square minus Q square upon Q and P square plus Q square upon Q. So this by Q we can cancel out. Finally answer will be P square minus Q square upon P square plus Q square. Next question number 22. If 3 cot theta is equal to 4, find the value of 3, 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta upon 5 sin theta plus 3 cos theta. So first 3 cot theta equal to 4, we can write it as cot theta equal to 4 by 3. Now here we will divide with sin. So it will change into cot. 5 sin theta upon sin theta. 3 cos theta upon sin theta 5 sin theta upon sin theta plus 3 cos theta upon cos theta sin to sin will cancel out and cos by sin will become cot 5 minus 3 cot theta and in denominator 5 plus 3 cot theta now we can substitute the cot theta value which is 4 by 3, 5 plus 3 into 4 by 3. So 3 to 3 we can cancel 5 minus 4 is 1 and 5 plus 4 is 9. So in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will do in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.